A man is in custody accused of stabbing two people to death yesterday in the parking lot of a Palmdale shopping center. L.A. County Sheriff's detectives say that the suspect asked one of the victims for car help before a fight broke out between them, and they say that led to the two stabbings. And now some people are upset after they say authorities forgot to clean up the bloody crime scene. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pilliam is live in the newsroom with more. Tim? Ellen, the victim's loved ones are devastated. We talked to the woman's boyfriend. He's heartbroken. They have been dating for eight months. My heart didn't want it to be true. Yeah, same. But in my mind, the truth was that she was killed. She is gone now. Just in cold blood, just senseless. Tonight, Jesse Mercado fighting back tears after the murder of his girlfriend, McKenna Evans, and her father, Ken. Yesterday, the two were found stabbed outside their vehicles near Coles and Joanne Department Store in Palmdale. Our camera capturing the murder suspect taken into custody. When he was in handcuffs, he smirked. He, he just, he had a smirk on his face. How dare he? I hope. I hope he never gets out of prison. Elizabeth Evans lost her husband and daughter when the suspect went on this stabbing rampage. She says Ken Evans was in the parking lot working on his car before the attack. They don't know why the suspect stabbed them to death. Tonight, they want you to know the victims were human beings with goals. McKenna studying to be an esthetician. She was 22. All I want from this is just one more time. Just one more time. Can I just hold her one more time and say my goodbyes and that's it. Tell her I love her and I will always love her. New tonight, detectives say the suspect and the victims appear to live in their vehicles and the suspect asked the male victim for help with his car. Then there was an argument turning violent. As detectives continue to search for a motive, customers today, like Bonnie Haberstick, are stunned by the leftover crime scene. It's all the bandages, and they're all bloody, and gloves, and gauze. I mean, who does that? Yeah, Everything it. was left. Brian Mim, a retired detective who owns an independent crime scene cleaning company, also thought this was strange. It's always best um, to clean the scene because you do have protected biohazards. You don't want somebody to walk in there be stepping into it, walking through it. Today, we asked the sheriff's office about this. The spokesperson says cleaning protocols are being followed. And when they heard about this, a cleaning company and the fire department returned to remove the crime debris. The murder weapon still has not been found. The suspect remains in custody. So far, detectives have not released his name. He's expected to face murder charges. In the newsroom, Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.